What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. Today, we are talking about the problem. The problem with fat loss. Your problem with fat loss. But it's not just your problem. It is the problem with 90% of the people that go to gyms. We all know the scenario. You want to lose weight. You want to get in shape. So you join a gym. Whether it's Planet Fitness, LA Fitness, 24-Hour Fitness, Lifetime Fitness, Globo Fitness. Regardless of the gym, it doesn't matter because your training program will not get you lean. It will not help you lose fat. And in fact, your training program, your gym membership, your gym membership is the biggest problem you have with fat loss. Now, this is confusing because most people think going to the gym will help them lose weight. That's not necessarily true. And when I go to the gym and I look around and I see all the same familiar faces I see week after month after year doing the same exercises with moderate intensity and using decent weights, I look at their bellies. And what do I see? Do I see rock hard six pack abs? No. I see chewed up bubble gum. Gyms are filled with bubble gum bodies. Bubble gum bodies that have been chewed up and spit out onto bench presses and leg presses and shoulder presses and all of the other machinery that adorns the gym floor so what's the problem what's the solution really you we know the well i'll break down the problem here in a moment for you because a lot of people are like dolce what are you talking about everybody knows that exercising is important everybody knows we must exercise in order to lose weight in order to get in shape in order to look and feel our best we must exercise yeah but no but no, what if I told you exercise is the least important aspect of your fitness? Would you go and search the most latest Andrew Huberman lab clip? Would you go and research Dr. Peter Atia's top three exercises for longevity? You can go and do that. That's fine because they will both agree with me. The biggest issue with your body and think about it you go to the gym right you work out how about let me use you as an example you work out come on you're a member of the mike dolce show community you are a dolce diet advocate you know our principles you know our meal plans you know our programs you know our resume you know what we do you know what we do what we do you know what we do right we get people fucking shredded on weight, on time, every single time. No questions, no exceptions. So how come you're not ripped and shredded? You go to the gym, you work out, you move decent weights, you're consistent. Well, let me tell you what the problem is. But first, if you are struggling you need to go to the dolcediet.com right now. You need to join the four week, three weeks to shredded program, losing up to 21 pounds in 21 days, or our 12 week living lean total body, total body transformation program. You can lose up to 40 pounds in 12 weeks. I suggest doing the 12 week program because it is a massive cost savings to you. You get the four week program with the 12 week program and you can dramatically and rapidly transform your life just like the world's greatest athletes and Hollywood celebrities do while following our programs. TheDolceDiet.com. Use promo code Mike Dolce Show, all one word, and I will give you a 20% discount because I know you are about it about that life now so when i say exercise 
is actually holding you back from fat loss, I want to give you more detail, more context. Context is everything, right? Going to the gym, you go to the gym. You do your three sets of 10 bench press. You do your three sets of 10 dumbbell shoulder press. You do your three sets of 10 close grip wrench press. You do your three sets of 10 dumbbell side lateral. You do your three sets of 10 tricep push down. You do your three sets of 25 ab sit-ups and you go home. That's a nice little 30, 45 minute workout. It's a nice workout. I do a workout very similar to that. Very similar to that. 45 minutes, I'm in and out of the gym. I go home. And that's where the problem lies. When I walk into the gym, I see all the bubblegum bodies. And when I leave the gym, I see the bubblegum bodies. I'm usually there less time than the bubblegum bodies are. The difference is not that we are in the gym, not that we are all lifting weights, not that I'm that much stronger that my program is that much better, that my rep scheme is that much more complicated, that my periodized micro cycle is that much more advanced. Honestly, that has nothing to do with it. The difference is not in the 45 to 90 minutes the average person is in the gym. The difference is in the other 22, 23 hours that you are out of the gym. Your biggest problem with fat loss, with weight loss, has nothing to do... Your, let me, this is for the thumbnail right here. Thumbnail photo for those listening in audio. If you go to the YouTube channel, you will actually see that ugly-faced, veiny-necked, shredded my neck is shredded ladies and gentlemen like i'm literally literally you can see the striations of my upper pecs just like creeping into my neck so as i say this as i talk about this i'm running about eight percent body fat right now i just had my body fat done i'm like eight percent body fat right now so when i tell you this i'm telling you this as someone that is really lean i'm really lean my training program, my strength program, is no different right now than last year when I was at like 11% body fat. If I, and I do, I, I follow my training journal. If I look at my workouts, my workouts, it's like the exact same split. I run a push-pull leg program or I go push-pull press leg program that's it that's the big difference depending on rest and recovery but it's push pull leg push pull legs off or push pull legs off push pull legs off or it's push pull legs off push pull off legs off push pull legs off those legs, I crush legs, and that makes me a little woozy. And I like my Sunday hell day, so I always try and make sure Sunday is a little harder than the average day, not because it makes me any stronger or any more fit. It makes me more mentally resilient. That's why I like Sunday to be my hardest training day of the week. And sometimes I'll just do silly stuff. Like I'll do, I have a 150-pound um, XD Kevlar medicine ball, and I'll just see how many times I can squat down and heave it up over my shoulder over a 30 minute period of time. That is hell day. That is horrible. That is horrific. I want to throw up about 11 minutes into it. And then I mentally have to just keep on going until minute 30 rolls through. That is again, this is an aside. That is hell day. Hell day is a mental training day. I try and do the things I hate the most that make me feel the worst, that are horrible and challenging and uncomfortable. And I like to do those because I know everyone else is laying on their couch, drinking beers, watching football. I try and do it when sports games are on. I try and do it in the middle of the day. I try and do it at times that is the least comfortable, the least convenient for me. Therefore, I am used to making myself uncomfortable. So when it is time to be uncomfortable in other aspects of life, I have no problem with that because I've trained to be uncomfortable. That is an aside. Now, 
back to getting you shredded and why exercise sucks. When we get home from the gym from our 45 to 90 minute workout, what happens? Well, most people eat like shit. They'll go to Chipotle, they'll go to Subway, they'll go grab pizza, they'll get chicken from Chase, and they will pretend like it's healthy because it has protein in it, because there is a vegetable in it, because tomato sauce is made out of tomatoes, they'll act like a pizza is somehow healthy, right? Well, it's got mozzarella and that's protein and it's got tomato sauce. So it's kind of like a vegetable. So I'm basically eating a salad and then they'll go and eat a whole pizza and then I'll have a couple beers and then they'll sit on the couch with their sweetie and they'll eat some Tostitos and some queso and some salsa and some potato chips and a couple cookies and maybe a bottle of beer or a glass of wine and a piece of chocolate. And then that's the normal day. And they'll wake up, they'll have a coffee with milk and sugar or cream or coffee made hazelnut. And they'll grab like a little tasty treat, a bagel, a bit Danish, uh, a Starbucks egg white sandwich, which is horrifically unhealthy for you. They'll get some flavored 400 calorie beverage at the uh, coffee shop, whatever that is. Then they'll roll through work. They'll have their little hundred calorie snack packs. They'll eat two or three of those. And then they'll go and get like a, a turkey sandwich with a little side salad or something. And they'll act like they're healthy because, quote, they go to the gym later. They go to the gym and they're going to work it off. They're going to get a good, they're going to work up a sweat. They can get a good workout. I'm going to get a good workout. I'm going to work it off. Well, if you were to strip off your clothes and look in the mirror, you will see the ha coffee mate hazelnut coffee, the Starbucks 400 calorie frappuccino. You will see the English muffin fake egg white sandwich, the bagel, the Danish, the turkey sandwich, the Tostitos, the queso, the pizza, the chipotle, the beer, the wine, the chocolate. When you strip off your clothes, you will see all of your poor food decisions. And that's the point of this, ladies and gentlemen. I don't care how hard you work out, how di disciplined you are in the gym, how many consecutive days you made. And I'm not minimizing that. That's great. Yes, go to the gym, work out. But your training really doesn't matter as much as your nutrition. Most people will train, but they eat like shit. And if you eat one bad meal per day, you eat like shit. Let's, let's call it what it is. You disagree with me? Well, strip off your clothes. Stare in the mirror. What do you see? You see all your shit food decisions. All your one, bit, one bad meal per day decisions is staring you in the mirror. It's hanging around your little lower belly fat area. It's hanging. It's stuck to your love handles. Guys, it's hanging around those little A-cuff puppy nipples you have. Lady, it is the saddlebags on the sides of your thighs. It's the big, hangy, droopy ass, pancake ass that you have. It's the lower jowls. It's the puppy face. All of your bad food decisions, you can see in the mirror. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. Because it's there. You see it. All you need to do is still, yeah, go to the gym. Sure, great. That's fine. Three, four, five, six days a week. I don't care. Do you, do you. But it's your nutrition that matters most. And I will ask you. If you follow a intelligently designed, nutrient-dense, whole food-only, multi-meal, omnivorous nutrition plan devoid of synthetic toxic chemicals, processed foods and sugar, completely alcohol free for 30 straight days with no exercise other than simply walking. Do you think your body will rapidly transform in those 30 days? Do you think your belly will 
slim down dramatically in those 30 days? Or if you just keep eating the way you're eating and you keep training the way you're training, have you seen any discernible change in the last 30 days? Oof. That, that's the moneymaker, right? That makes the most sense. That makes more sense than anything. Should have kept the microphone here the whole time. I'm just moving the mics around a little bit. New setup, by the way. Check the YouTube channel here, maybe later today, maybe later tomorrow, and see I'm, I'm trying to change this, this standing desk uh, setup concept. I got to move the microphone around, the lighting around a little bit, but this is certainly much better. Now, again, I want you to look and feel your best. I want you to live your best. I want you to be in your best possible shape. I want you to go to the gym and strength train or do MMA or play basketball or soccer or whatever. I want you to be physically active. I want you to focus on resistance style training. I want you to express yourself athletically. I demand that you perform at least 30 minutes of low intensity steady state cardio once per day. 45 would be ideal, 60 minutes would be incredible, but let's say 30 to 45 minutes per day, every single day. Can you commit to that for me? Say yes. Good. For the next 30 days, I need you to commit to a high net nutrient, whole food only, multi-meal omnivorous nutrition plan devoid of synthetic toxic chemicals processed food and processed sugar with no alcohol for the next 30 days can you do that say yes thank you so now you're locked in in the next 30 days you will probably lose anywhere between 10 to 20 pounds if that is all you do that's all you have to do now, if you need help, you can go to the dolcediet.com you can start the three weeks to shredded program and or the 12 week living lean program promo code Mike Dolce show save 20%. Then your food is completely planned for you. There's great workouts in there that you can follow if you choose to, but definitely do the walking program. The strength program is optional and I actually should run a test who gets leaner. The people who don't follow a meal plan and only strength train or the people who follow a meal plan and simply walk, but do not strength train. I guarantee you, I know for a fact, the people who follow a meal plan with only walking and no strength training will lose more fat. They will get leaner. They will feel better. They will look better. They will have greater levels of energy. And then we can roll them into a little strength training and watch their bodies rapidly, rapidly transform. So, as we wind this down, I want to open the door for questions. If you have any questions, please send them to mail. No, send them to Gabby. Gabby's better than mailbag. Gabby, G-A-B-B-Y, Gabby at the Dolce Diet.com. If you have any questions, if you want to challenge me, if you're confused about what I just said, if you want to know anything about anything, send me an email to Gabby, Gabby at the Dolce Diet.com and have your question read on air. If you don't leave your name, or you can give a false name or your real name, we'll read it on air. You can say it's Space Ghost from the East Coast, and that's fine. Or you can say it's, it's, it's Mike D from New Jersey. Whatever you want to say, that's fine. But send me a question. I want to read them live on air. I want to answer your questions in close to real time. Next Tuesday, the next episode of the Mike Dolce Show, we release every Tuesday. So every Tuesday, a new Mike Dolce Show episode is out. Definitely check us out on Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, and iTunes. We're going to make a harder push in the Spotify here this season. Every Tuesday, come check us out. Also, we have a few spots open for the VIP Elite Private Coaching Program. That is working with me one-on-one. -on -one. I become your private coach. Everything you need, we run through. Your entire meal plan, your entire supplementation program, your entire workout program. We get your blood work done. We run an optimized blood panel on you. That gives the team and I great valuable data to help curate your most ideal lifestyle program. No stone is unturned. We have a team of doctors on staff that can work with you. If you have any medical issues, any chronic conditions, any illnesses, if you are on prescription meds or need prescription meds, we have the team to do everything for you. This is the most exclusive high end full lifestyle overhaul. 
We call it the VIP Elite Private Training Program. And I am your daily coach. It's you and I one-on-one -on -one speaking as often as you feel necessary. I want at least one day per week. You and I get on a Zoom. A couple days a week, I want to be calling you or texting you or checking in with you. We have a proprietary mobile application that you and I and the team actually work and oversee your program in real time. We update it. You put in all the data. The VIP Elite Private Training Program. Send Gabby an email. Let's see if you are a candidate for that. You very well might be. Otherwise, check out thedolcediet.com. Now is the time. There is no better time than right now to transform your life. VDolceDiet.com, promo code Mike Dolce Show, save 20%. Also, big thank you to certified Piedmontese. Go to Piedmontese, P-I-E-D-M-O-N-T-E-S-E, Piedmontese.com, promo code Dolce to save 25%. The most glorious grass-fed, grass-finished beef I have ever eaten. The only beef I trust to feed my family is through piedmontese.com. I am a I am a sirloin sucker. I eat their delicious grass-fed, grass-finished sirloin three to four times per week. We eat their 96, 97% lean grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef two, three times a week. Uh, their filet mignon grass-fed, grass-finished is awesome. Even their grass-fed, grass-finished hot dogs are a favorite amongst our kids. Imagine that. Grass-fed, grass-finished beef hot dogs. Massive hot dogs, by the way. Go to piedmontese.com, promo code Dolce, save 25%, and get free shipping to your door. The only meat I trust to feed my family. And last, if you want to get that optimized blood panel through us, you also get a one-on-one 30-minute -on -one consultation with me. Go to dolcedietshop.com for the optimized blood panel. There's a few other cool things right now. We have a, we have a short sale at dolcedietshop.com. We have 50% off on select items. We had massive overstock, which is great, great for you. So we're blowing through some books right now. Probably only, only a couple hundred copies left. Those will be gone here pretty soon. So get get that gift those books get a few copies of the cookbook of three weeks to shredded of living lean of the college diet guide all at dolcedietshop.com and you can even book me for a one-on-one -on -one consultation if you want to have that chat so that is it my friends thank you so much for being here remember nutrition Nutrition over everything. Nutrition, nutrition, nutrition. Nutrition is much more important than exercise. Don't believe me? Give it 30 days and watch what happens. Until next time. Don't count calories. Make calories count. Whoa!